you here. Today I want to show you how to do an ostrich. We need paper that's landscape, pencil. I was actually called ostrich. Um, I think my dad mentioned that I look like an ostrich only because of my long neck and it was kind of a funny thing. Um, but ostriches have nice eyelashes so I'm fine with that. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is like I say an ostrich. We're only going to do the head bit because there's no need to do the body. I might at some point do the whole body but let's just do the head because it's quite nice to focus on it. So got my picture here so what we need to do let's do a circle to begin with so it's quite nice to do it in the middle of the page a nice circle and then what you want to do is find about here just about there do a dot just about there do a dot and we're going to do like a triangle can you see I've kind of shaped it so it's not completely a triangle let's remove that a little bit so I've kind of shaped it like a beak because that's what it is. <laughs> but I've shaped it so it looks a little bit more like a roundy triangle. And then what I want to do is just do a line that goes to here, probably almost past the middle with like another little line that goes like that. <clears throat> so think of it like, um, it's almost like, um, oh, I can't think of it, like an arrow. It's like an arrow. And then you could just carry this on. So just join that up. Now what I thought would be quite cool is this bit here, still got it there, I need a cookie. You're gonna go down. So think of it like you're chopping a little bit of the circle off. So you're going down and you're going down to here. Because ostriches have long necks. <laughs> Not as long as, I don't have a, yeah. I don't have as long neck as an ostrich, but I would say Oh, so my neck's quite long. Good to have a long neck. Ballerinas, I think, have long necks. Maybe they don't, I don't know. Okay, so now we're going to do touch about here. And you're going to make a, like, can you see how I'm doing it? So it almost looks like a square. And then we carry on the cookie. So that is roughly the shape that we're looking for. Now we're going to rub out some stuff. So let's get a rubber. This is what we're going to rub out. We're going to rub out the cookie. No more cookies. Oh no. We'll rub out that bit and that bit. And that bit. This bit might look strange for now, that bit, but don't worry. And then we're going to... Okay. Right. Oof. So that's roughly, I always reminds me of like, doesn't it remind you of a glove puppet? Always. Um, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. But ultimately, we're gonna shape the face now. So here, we're gonna go down, around, and then join up to there. So you wanna rub out the rest of the cookie. I'm getting hungry now, just talking about cookies. I've had a cookie for so long. Might look a bit strange, don't worry. Totally reminds me of a hand puppet, it really does. So let's have a look at my picture. So we've got that and there. What I would say, if I'm looking at my picture, is I would probably move this one. So I'm gonna rub that out. And I can't do it with my pen because I'll make a bit of a mistake. But there, probably about there is what I want. So do that with a nice line. There we are. Okay. Now we need, I would say the, oh, it's quite warm in here, isn't it? I'm a bit red. <laughs> what we need is, um, I just want to do like a little line there. Oh, God, it looks... And we want the eye. Now the eye's a big eye. He's got a big eye there. So just a nice big eye around about there. And then what we're going to do is kind of just join it up to there. And I think... Just a little one there would be nice. Now we want these, these we want this big black eye to have like some kind of uh, light shining on it. So what you could do, if you don't have a pencil, just colour it in with pencil now, it's fine. And then you can colour it black later. But we want the eye to look shiny. Okay. 
Okay. Hmm. If it's not too. Got a bit of a nose, I just realised. So you join that up to there, and we're going to have like the nose there. Just totally reminds me, really reminds me of a hand puppet. So that's roughly what we're going for. Don't worry if it looks a bit strange, because I think it's going to look strange regardless, to be honest. Okay, let's do it. So what you want to do is I'm going to do chalk, I'm going to do it with kind of a cool pink. And if you think about um, ostriches, they've got quite long eyelashes. So first of all, I'm going to do the beak a nice pink. You can do any colour. If I think about the, the, the end of the beak, it's more rounded. Can you see how I've done it more rounded like that? Then this would come here. So maybe fiddle with the beak a little bit if you can, because you don't want it too pointy. So there's my beak. And because my ostrich is white, I'm going to outline in grey. Because anything that's white, if you outline it with grey, it makes it just look like it's got more body to it. So I'm just going to smudge. getting my one finger and I'm just smudging with that. Awesome. And then we want a black pastel. I think this is black, isn't it? Right, I'm going to outline it. So I've got my nose there. Just looking at my picture as I do it. Give it a little bit of a... Do a little line there because he's got... I always say it's a he, but it could be a girl. You see, I'm getting very messy, but you can see what I'm trying to do. Sort of trying to outline it. Because you've already outlined it with grey, and now you're going to do a bit of black. Go over the eye if you need to. I really like him. Her, him. I think I could do some eyelashes. It might be the duck. I might draw a duck. So we could do some eyelashes. You could get the white if you're doing chalk. Obviously mine looks a bit strange because of because of the fact I'm, I've tip-exed it. But if you've done, you could do some little eyelashes like that. I like that. It's kind of cute. Right, and you want to rub out some bits. So obviously, oof. Right, what I might do, I don't know why, I've got this thing where I really want it to be black. Just got to be super careful I don't get too messy. But... Because it's a white animal, the top, and we're just doing the head, you could do like a solid black background because it will make the head stand out. I'm going to give it a go. It might look a bit strange because I've tipped some of it. And I'm only using Tipex to help you with the video. So I wouldn't do it normally, it's just for the video. It's going to be super messy. <laughs> ah. So where I've done the tip X, obviously it's not going to show up my black too much. Can you see how if your background's really dark, like you could draw this on black sugar paper even, because when your background's really dark, your animal stands out. So this would be super dark normally. I'm just going to do it with pastel because that goes over. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> Let me know. There we are. I don't really want to mix oil and chalk, but I just have. <laughs> okay. So that's roughly my ostrich. Like, I quite like him. He's called Oscar. Oscar the ostrich. And it's just his head, so have a go. Have a go at doing like different colours. You could do a pink head, you could do a yellow head. I can't remember what I did with that. There we go. Oh, yes. Oscar, my ostrich. So see how you get on with the ostrich head. Obviously it's slightly messy. 
<laughs> and I've gone over bits. But if you can see, I'll try and show you. Oh, hang on. Can you see how his face looks really cool? Take away the tip X. Okay, so have a go at doing your ostrich. Let me know how you get on. Like, subscribe and share and I will see you soon.